is going on guys, Shadix and welcome back to another video where today I'm actually really excited because if you look here, we got the cut. Well, okay, so first of all, let me explain. If you've been in any of my live streams where I've done multiplayer lately, you know that I'm trying to 100% uh, multiplayer right here. And you know that I've been trying to do the one that is, um, where is it under score streaks? Yeah, I've been trying to do the return fire. Area denied, which is destroy a Raps deploy ship before it can drop any Raps drone, which was extremely difficult, by the way. And I finally got it, which gave me all of Return Fire. So I have a, the Return Fire Master card, which is the Nyan Cat, which is awesome. I love it. So I'm going to rock that for a little while. But today we're going to review the video footage of when, when I just did this. It was the last game I played. It was wonderful. I was in playing Domination. And I'm going to give you guys a couple tips and tricks for if you guys are stuck on this yourself. So first of all, let me go through. I'm going to show you the class setup I used. Uh, let's see. Not that I really used any of the weapons because you'll see why. So I ended up using the Olympia, which I got new camo for. Look at that. Because, you know, why not? It's double weapon XP and Domination right now. I used the Black Cell to... Uh, shoot down uh, any aircraft that was in the air because those, you know, those are points. Why not? I used blind eye to make sure no wraiths or anything could kill me. Because you know, if someone's got wraps down, chances are they're gonna have like a wraith or some kind of air support in to stop you from shooting it down. So I wanted blind eye rocking and also hardwired because uh, I ran into a match earlier where a guy used the um, power core. So I couldn't use my specialist, which is the Tempest, that's what I was uh, going to use to destroy it. I couldn't use the Tempest to shoot it down, so that kind of cheesed me a little bit, because I was ready for it. So I'm like, okay, looks like we're rocking hardwired, because it was anti up. And uh, let's see, cold-blooded, just in case someone's got like a Talon or a Hardened Century or a Cerberus out, didn't want to get killed by that either. Engineer, obviously, because you want to be able to see where that thing's coming on the map. And awareness, well, just because I wanted killed, so... Other than that, the other thing I should let you know is I use Tempest. If you're going to get uh, destroyed with a uh, specialist, Tempest is definitely going to be your best bet. Tempest or Annihilator, however, you do have to be really, really accurate with the Annihilator pistol. But it is good. It only takes, uh, I think, it's four shots to destroy it. But it's the same thing with the Tempest, and it's more accurate and better sights and shoots a lot faster, so you have a better chance. However, I did not use the Tempest. What I used were these. I had Care Package, Wraith, and Power Core rocking. Now the Power Core, if you don't know, when you lay it down it destroys everything in the air and that includes a Raps Deploy Ship and that's exactly how I got this medal. You guys will see here in a minute. But um, yeah, I used the Care Package to hopefully get a Power Core if I couldn't get a Power Core from uh, actually earning it. Fortunately, Domination is a pretty easy game mode to get points with the objectives and killing defenders and attackers. Not to mention the map I played it on gave me bonus points, and you'll see what I mean in just a few seconds. So let's get into it. Alright guys, as you can see, we're playing on uh, Rupture, which is what, what I meant by bonus points. Is that, As you can see here, I'm going for the Mana Core straight off the bat, which was actually a very smart choice. I know you say, you're thinking, oh, you're missing out on the points for C, but... I kind of make up for that because I pull a pretty slick move here in a minute. But I decided to use the mana core because I'm like, okay, if I'm going to get the power core, I'm going to need to be able to play it safe. And play it safe I did. So as you can see here, we're approaching B and I'm like, you know what, I could use the 200 free points. So I go in here, snag 200 points, hop back to the mana core. That was pretty awesome. Grabbed an opening move medal. And then I think killed this dude. Trying to oh yeah, this mana, mana core was causing problems. For some reason, I couldn't look down, and it scared the shit out of me because I thought my controller was broken. And I'm like, you, you can't be serious. So I get down, and I'm finally able to look down. I'm like, okay, that's not messed up or nothing. So I don't know what the hell that was. So as you can see, I go for different mana core because obviously that one's having issues. And then I think I destroy. I go and attack this dude. And I can go in strong. I had a pretty big jump on him with the bullets. So luckily, I'm. Pretty sure I was able to destroy this dude, and that also gives me bonus points. So that's like 200 points that it was. It might be 300. Yeah, it's 200 to destroy the mana core and 100 for killing the person inside of it. So that's 300 points. We're at 500 now. 50 points off our care package, which is our first score streak. And that care package comes in handy. Trust me. You'll find out why in a minute. No, wait. It might not be that care package. But as you can see, we're on care. 
uh, we're on a care package streak right now. Almost at the point where we need a new mana core, and I think I see this one, I'm like, no, nope, fuck that. I cannot live through him shooting at me. So I'm just gonna go make my way to something else. And this dude just walked right past He's this dead. guy. I'm like, okay, free kill for me, another 100 points. 375 points away from our Wraith, which was awesome. Uh, let's see what what happens here. I really can't remember, even though this happened like half an hour ago. I had, I finished the round up. I'm like, no way. I can't believe that just happened. You know what? Saving it right here. I'm gonna go shower. As you can see, that's what I did. Uh, let's see. I think I hop in this manacore now. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So I hop in this manacore. I think I shoot up in that little tower up there. Cause I'm like, you know what? Oh no, I was going after the UAV, which was a huge waste of time, as you'll see. Cause I can't see it. It's literally right above me. Even though it's weird, because I have Engineer on, so I should have been able to see that on my mini-map. And even now, I still don't see it up there. Hmm. Okay, so someone else's Wraith is coming in. This is just a waste of time, so you guys get to see me fucking shit up dirt. And then, let's see what happens here. I decided to keep going a little walk. This dude's right here, trying to juke me. I'm like, no, no, not happening, pal. So I killed him with a rocket. Uh, I think I was being shot at. I can't hear anything. I have my volume all the way down and my headphones out so that it can actually record. Oh yeah. Killed that guy. Got, I'm on my bloodthirsty now. I think I'm 100 points off of that. That did a hell- that part HCXD did a lot of damage to that mana core. Oddly enough. We're already at 77 points and I couldn't believe how fast we were getting this game. And the thought occurred to me, I shoot up the ground and destroy that HCXD. Destroy that guy. I think we got our Wraith now. Yes, now we got our Wraith. 150 points away from uh, our uh, whatever the hell it is. And I'm glad we already had a Wraith in and told me airspace is full because I would have pulled a stupid. And I can't believe I lived through this. These guys are just dumb. And now we have our power parts. And now it's just down to the waiting game, guys. And I'm glad. But anyway, yeah, I'm glad we had a Wraith up because I almost tossed that off like 10 points from the end. And we were dominating at that point. So it would have been a huge waste. So you know what? Thank you, guy, whoever got the last Wraith because that saved my bones there. All right, so as you can see here, we toss off our care package. I, these guys, I guess, are still like changing their class or something. So I have no clue what that is. And I see this manacore in front of me. I'm like, okay, I'm going to hop in that. I'm like eight. I think I was eight no at this point. Let's see, I had a, Ended up getting a county UAV, pretty Over useless. Got me, I guess it gets me a couple bonus points. Tossed my Wraith out over B, because I know I'm going to be able to get some points there. Everybody goes for B. And now I'm just kind of waiting. Just kind of waiting for my moment to toss off this power core. Now, unfortunately, the other team wasn't doing very good. So I'm like, okay, I hope I'm not wasting this power core by not using it. Figured someone might be up there. Nobody was, unfortunately. But yeah, um... I, they didn't end up getting a Rax until like the very last second, but I was able to get it before then, and you'll find out why. And it broke my heart to do this. Let's see. Do I take that? Do I challenge this dude? I can't believe I ch challenged this dude to a gunfight, but I saw him, I'm like, okay. He's shooting at... I think he was shooting at our UAV. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get this dude. I have rockets. I'm already shooting him. He's pretty much dead already. And I think he might have popped out. I hope he ended up getting 200 points for this one. So I think he either hopped out or someone else killed him. And I kill that guy. And I think I'm about to get another care package. But I hop out and I'm like, no, this this is not happening. I'm not about to die. I'm like 11 or 12 and 0 right now. So let's see, what was I going to do? What did I even do right here? Was I just going for the mana core again? I really don't even remember. I think I was just kind of waiting, seeing if maybe I can get this next care package or... I think I was going to place my power core in that room if they had gotten a wraps. Because, you know, the wraps always come in at the second round. Yeah, we're going to hop in the mana core. Obviously, you know, why not? I think... What did we go off to do? Seriously. We did something. But we got another care package coming up here, I'm pretty sure. I think there's a dude hiding around that corner right there. Yeah, I can see his little gun stick now. Going on the Merciless, grab the Merciless medal. And now 40 points away from the care package. Which I'm like, okay, we're gonna rotate these streaks. And then this Rolling Thunder came in and scared the hell out of me. I'm like, oh, 
these things can kill the mana cores and I'm inside of one and that dude scared me. I, I'm pretty sure he was gonna go after me. But I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna grab this mana core. Now I'll kill you. Now I should be out of care package. No. Okay, so I didn't end up getting that kill. And these mana cores are still broken. Do I get points for this? No. I didn't get points for that, unfortunately, because there was nobody inside of it. Or I didn't do enough damage to it. How did I get these 40 points? I got 40 points somehow. Let's see, what did I do here? Somehow, I ended up nabbing 40 points out of nowhere. Oh, I think... Are they going... These guys are going for A, I'm pretty sure. But I'm kind of sitting here, just kind of trolling, strolling around, being like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then, boom, another mana core spawns. I'm like, okay. Oh, that's why... Okay, so that's why I destroyed the other mana core, to hopefully get one of the two that I took to spawn back, so I can hurry up and... You know, grab another mana core and start just killing the shit out of everybody again. Oh yeah, this guy, here he is. The dude behind the little corner who was trying to destroy me. I pegged him with a rocket and now I'm out of care baggage. Now the game's almost over, I'm like, okay, I thought about using my power core right about now. But I'm like, you know what, I'll toss off this care package, see if I can get something cool or something. So I'm sitting here hoping to god nothing comes up behind me, because that would just suck. If someone came up behind me and stole this, I would be sad. But look at that. Well, we got a wraps out of there. So I'm like, okay, time to beeline it. We're getting out of here. Because if, if uh, our teammates had died, which one of them did, but he did not respawn by us, luckily. Because you know one of my teammates would have snagged that wraps. So I'm running away like, okay, these guys are going to take this wraps, and I'm going to power for the shit out of it. And I was really scared because I'm thinking no one's going to it. And then all of a sudden... I walk far enough away, and, and near there, someone finally stole it, wraps and bound. I'm like, ooh, this is my chance, I see it coming in, and then I pull out the power core, I'm like, bro, area denied, look at that. I could not believe that I was able to do that. I got the wraps that I needed to, to destroy and gave it to him, that was awesome. And I earned a power core, that's probably the first power core I've ever earned. And then I just go ahead and I disarm this, because... It was a booby trap thingy. Let's see. 183 rounds. They got some good stuff coming in. They got a talent. So I pull my Tempest. I'm like, you know what? I didn't use this to destroy the rats. Let's see if I can destroy the talent. I couldn't. I died. My dog's over here being all weird. And let's see. I go for the man core again for some reason. But look at that. Now they got wraps, but I didn't need it. But the good news is is if I had tossed my wraps off, there's a good chance that they wouldn't have been able to get those wraps because they would have died. So I'm kind of glad I did it the way I did it. And then they got a GI unit coming in. I'm like sitting here like, who in the hell is getting all these score streaks? I try, I tried to destroy it. it. It didn't work. It didn't work at all. I, was, I think I got a kill out of nowhere just now. I had, I've got no clue what just happened. So you know what? Hang on a minute. Um, let's go into here, pause this, change camera. Okay, free mode. Let's back this up. Skip back a little bit. What happened here to where we got 100 free points for this? Alpha. This is me, okay. So what happened over here that Bravo. gave me 100 points? Enemy took A. Hostile CI unit detected. Because I killed a person. But I don't remember killing a person. What the hell? Apparently, that was me. I, apparently, I killed this guy. I'm not even sure how that happened. But okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and end film. But yeah, that's how I earned my Nyan Cat guy. And oh lord, I was so I'm so happy that I got that done. Like I've been trying for that for like a month or two now, and I've been using Tempest, which I hate Tempest. I would much rather be using like in hardcore. I'd, I was still using Tempest, but I in hardcore would be using probably Kinetic Armor or Combat Focus. 
I love using those, but I'm sitting here with Tempest because I'm like, okay, Tempest can destroy those, so I'm going to rock him, let my Tempest fill up, and then just save it. So I'm glad I'm done with that. I don't have to rock any rocket launchers now. I don't have to rock anything I don't want to, and I can be using the specialists I want. So that's it for today's video. I was going to do zombies today, but I'm like, okay, that just happened. I need to get it recorded now. I'm excited. So that is all for this video, and as always, I will see you all next time here at the Shadow Nation, where the family tries, thrives, and stays alive. Peace.